You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hardcovers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another book review to share you guys. So, um, there are maybe two videos today, um, because I wasn't able to get one up yesterday. So, um, watch out for that. That will be kind of a bonus this week. Um, we'll see about next week and the weeks to come. So, we'll see. But, as you guys know, I am doing a Angels Walking series by Karen Kingsbury. And this is the third, the third book in the three book series. So, um, there was Angels Walking, um, Chasing Sunset, and I am reviewing the third book today. Um, I will put a link up in the cards above and down in the video description below in case you missed them. Um, if you have not seen them yet, I suggest you do before watching any further. So I will give you a few seconds to go do that. Okay, so um, the third book in this Angels Walking series is called Brush of Wings by Karen Kingsbury. And I was thrilled to get this at my local library because um, I didn't know how long it would take to get to my library and I could not wait to read it. So um, this book has, I didn't even look at that before I recorded. Okay, let's, let's look here. Um, it has... It has 326 pages and it has 29 chapters. So it is a book that will take a little bit to read. Um, I know it did for me um, because I just liked reading and the suspense was you could cut it with a knife. I was just like, okay, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? Okay, so. Here is what this book is about. Despite needing a heart transplant and against the advice of her doctor, Mary Catherine moves to Uganda to work with, at a new orphanage. Whatever time she has left, especially since there will be no children of her own. The only problem is Major League Baseball player Marcus Dill Dillinger, the man she never meant to fall in love with. Neither Marcus nor Marie, Mary Catherine's other friends, Tyler Ames and Sammy Dawson, will ever know just how serious her heart condition is, unless a team of angels walking can help bring about the impossible. Through it all, Marcus is sure in the depths of his soul that something is wrong with Mary Catherine. After months of silence from her, a divinely timed letter leads him on a desperate life-or-death mission. Then, as Sammy and Tyler prepare to marry, the group receives shocking news that changes everyone's plans. At the same time, the angels in their midst are faced with a very real possibility. Not all missions succeed. So this was, in my opinion, it was a Christian kind of romance, um, suspense. Not really a thriller because it's not a mystery or anything like that. But it does keep you on your toes. Um, I think... I am 99% sure that this does have a Kindle edition. Um, so I will put that down in the description below. It will be an affiliate link. So if you guys go in that on that link and order the book, then um, you can help me out. Um, so um, since this is the last book in the series, um, I will be doing a cumulative review of the series and of what I think of the author and things like that. Um, just like I've done with the Chronicles of Narnia series, the James Harriet series, and I will be finishing up probably next week the um, Mouse series from Beverly Cleary. So um, keep um, your eyes open for that. So 
um, look for two videos today, and we will see you next week. As always, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And we will see you again soon. Goodbye. Oh, and by the way, um, I'm not really sure what kind of book reviews are going to be for next week. But it's going to be something book related if it's not a review. Alrighty. Thanks, guys. Bye.